Okay, so if you're someone who uses VS Code and if you have a lot of files with the same name, like me, then this tip I'm gonna show you in VS Code will be really helpful. So I've got a simple Svelkit project here. I've got a bunch of folders that link to different pages. And as you can see, if I do a search for index, I've got a lot of files that are index.svelte. Now let's say I just select one of these files randomly. I wouldn't know what folder this file belonged to without looking at the breadcrumbs or going through the list of files on the left-hand side. But there is an easier way to do this in VS Code. So let's go to our settings. I'm pressing Shift Command P on the Mac. And if you type settings, this is the latest thing that I've used. So it shows at the top for me. But if it doesn't show up for you, then start typing settings into the search bar. So I'm gonna to go to settings UI and I have it open already, but if you don't, it will be workbench editor management. Let me make this a bit bigger so you can see it says editor management. Scroll down a bit and keep going until you get to a section that is called label format. Now by default, of course it's default, but if you change it to short, you'll see immediately this tab up here shows work. So it's much quicker and easier for me to see the parent folder of the index.svelte file than it would have been if I had to use the breadcrumbs or the left file navigation. Now, don't get me wrong, looking at the breadcrumbs is really quick, but it is a lot quicker just to see the folder name in the tab. So this was a really quick tip. I hope you found it useful. If you did, of course, give this video a thumbs up so more can see it. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.